Welcome back to Talk of the Town. It's a pleasure to introduce Melissa Moore, owner and masseuse of the newly established River of Life Massage Therapy here on Hilton Head, to share what services her business offers to her clients. Melissa, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. You're welcome to be here. So, what made you choose to go into massage therapy? Well, I've always enjoyed working with my hands and enjoyed helping relieve other people's problems, so I knew that that was the direction I wanted to take. I also um, was diagnosed with scoliosis, and there's not really much you can do for that condition, but it does affect my body and cause me pain. Um, so some alternative therapies have been shown to help with that, and I try to um, work a wellness plan into my life of Pilates, chiropractics, and massage therapy right. um, to help. Ed, pr to well, help kind of to relieve. Yeah, to help not um, advance the condition as well as um, bring me out of pain. Right. So it, it is definitely. I, I think massage therapy is definitely therapeutic, but I think it also has some holistic measures to it. Do you agree? Very much so. So it's more of a body, but yet spiritual, exp I mean, it, it, and it can be, it doesn't necessarily have to be, it depends on what that, your, I would imagine, imagine what your client's looking for. Yes, it can affect all different levels of what is considered the self. And not only is it for relaxation, They're, they they use massage therapy for um, just like you said scoliosis in in pain situations. I know they they also um, have will use it for fibromyalgia mm -hmm. and um, sore muscles. Mm -hmm. it, it's almost like when you work out and your muscles are tense and and everything is stressed, that massage will release that. Is that? kind of the goal? Yeah, it helps reduce your tension and your pain and helps relieve some of the stress and just be able to relax and come to that state of relaxation to promote the healing and relaxation of your muscles and tissues. And I would think that would help with injury as well, like decreasing yes, chances of injury. They <laughs> have shown that it does reduce the chance of injury um, when you use massage with exercise as well as promote um, a faster healing yeah. um, when exercise and, and so, uh, massage so, are used together. So people probably who um, you know are golfers, tennis pros, um, any sports, uh, mm -hmm. just even working out, it's probably a good, um, I would imagine it would be a great thing if they worked massages into um, I guess their reg, you know, their regimen. Yeah. And is that something that they should get I guess again it's individual but I mean is it something like you could get weekly, bi-weekly, monthly? I mean what's the best? Um, I would consider once a month is probably best for everyone. You can keep updated with your tissues and stay relaxed and stay in, in a very mobile, more mobile state with the massage. But they've also done studies that show that weekly massages can dramatically um, boost your immune system. Oh, that's interesting, isn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really interesting. So you just opened a new location. Yes. And tell us a little bit about that. Uh, well, I just opened up at the beginning of August here, mm -hmm. and we're located here at the professional building across from Park Plaza. Okay. And we're actually... It's right here in this building yeah. with um, WHHI across the way. Yeah, we're right and, and I'm sure our employees run right over after a stressful <laughs> day at work, and you're able to, to um, make their woes go away. Of course. <laughs> so, um, how long have you been in um, massage therapy? Well, I've actually been licensed for a little over a year now, mm -hmm. um, and I trained at the Technical College of the Low Country, um, and did a 750-hour program with internship and um, training hours. So, um, and is it just you? It's just me over there. It's a private practice, so you don't have to worry about worrying if you're going to see another therapist <laughs> or having to call and make sure that you're right. going to be with the right so person. So how do you work your appointments then? Well, appointment only, yeah, obviously. Yes, mostly okay. appointments. I actually do have some set walk-in hours for people to come in. Okay. Um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I have them from 2 to 6, and Tuesday and Thursday, they're 10 to 3. Okay. Um, and do you, will you take appointments um, weekends, evenings, things like that? 
It's really Monday through Friday. Okay. Um, my last appointment I'll take is seven o'clock in the evening. Okay. All right. Well, that's still you know that it's, still helps a lot of people, especially yes. who work till five thirty or six, and so that's great. Exactly. I've tried to make myself as available as possible to be able to fit into their everybody's schedule whenever they would need it. Melissa, thank you so much, and best of luck with your new business. Thank you so much. <laughs> and we will be right back with Talk of the Town.